So MetaHumans Creator has been available for about two years now. And if you've had the chance since then, you've probably done plenty of experimentation with getting a live link working on a MetaHuman. And if you haven't, then I definitely recommend trying it out to see how it works. Once you're ready to move past the experimentation phase and try to create something a little more substantial, you may run to a couple of different issues. One of them being this issue where the head of the MetaHuman detaches from the body. So in this video, I just wanted to take a quick look and see how we can remedy that. So how we wanna see how we can go from this to this over here. So let me just play it. And as you can see, the, the head just stays floating up here on this first MetaHuman, but on the second, the head is following along the animation with the body. So let's take a look at how we can um, go from this over here to this right here. So if you're not familiar with how the MetaHuman is set up, it's a modular character design. So with the MetaHuman, you have a, usually you'll, in the blueprint, you can take a look and see how the body is separate from the head, which is separate from the hands and, and the legs. So each of the components have the same skeleton, except for the head. The head actually has a, a separate skeleton from the body. And if you open up the skeleton or an animation, you can actually see in the skeleton tree, the animation is based off the trunk of the base metahuman skeleton. So you have everything up to the spine and the clavicle. It's all, all that is the same, except now beyond that, you have the bones for the face so that you can capture the, the facial animations with Live Link. So if you take a look here, this is an animation I captured. I'm using Live Link, and I have the bones enabled. So to do that, you can go to Character, Bones, and um, View All Hierarchy. So as you can see here, the the head is moving. I've animated the face on this MetaHuman, but as you can see, there, there's no animation data for the rest of the skeleton. So the, the spine isn't moving at all. Um, so usually when you pull a MetaHuman into your project, the MetaHuman is usually standing up and in a T pose, typically, or an A pose. And once you get started with Live Link, you usually are going to um, pull your MetaHuman in and start recording on the, the MetaHuman while they're standing. And so that's that's part of the issue. So because we're just recording directly on the face skeleton, if you're trying to apply another animation to the body, the motion is going to be different. So in this case, the head is going to stay standing because that's the animation that we have applied to that skeleton. So how do we how do we go about fixing that? Let's uh, let's take a look here. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at the animation here in Sequencer. So if you right click on the animation, you can select Show Skeleton. So I'm gonna show the skeleton for the body as well as for what I have for the head there. As I scrub through here, you can see that the the body skeleton is moving, but the head skeleton is not moving alongside it. What happened here is that I recorded with Live Link to the skeleton, but I didn't apply any animation to the rest of the skeleton. And so it, it captured the face, but once I was ready to apply that to this MetaHuman, after I exported the animation, it didn't pick up any of the rest of the data. So now the rest of the bones are static and aren't moving, but the head is moving. Okay, so similarly, let's take a look at the skeleton for this MetaHuman where the head is still attached. So I'm gonna collapse this, let's expand the second MetaHuman here. Let's right click again and select show skeleton. Okay, and so right here you can see the head skeleton is actually following along with the body animation. Okay, so what do we need to do to get this head to follow the body? What we're going to do is I'm going to actually, I'm going to close the sequencer window. I'm going to bring up take recorder. So you'll go to a window cinematics and then take recorder. And that'll open up a new sequence for us. So right now these, these two um, metahumans are spawned by the level, which I, I did that so that I would have access to them from take recorder. So we're just going to select this metahuman on the right here and let's add Add Nassim here to our track for the take recorder. I have Live Link connected to my MetaHuman here. And what I'm going to do is before I actually start recording, I'm going to delete the, the MetaHuman control group for the body. And then we're going to actually add an animation onto the body here. So let's go. I think I have a. 
Let's sit in region here. There we go. Okay, so the human sitting and my, my head has followed the body now. As I record with Take Recorder, this data is going to be put together with the head skeleton. So once you export that animation, you'll be able to see that the animation will work alongside and he will no longer be just standing up in a in an A pose position. So let's go ahead and let's let's record real quick. So let me drag take recorder over here and I'm going to add I'm just going to actually just add our actor to the take recorder source or as a source for take recorder. And then let's go ahead and just record something short here. Okay, so it's recording now, and as it's recording, you see that the animation played. Okay, let's stop. We can drag that off. And now we're going to browse to the animation that was output. Okay, so let's go to animations. Okay, and now as you can see, this is the animation that we just created. And as you can see now, his the head is following the same motion that was in that animation that we had applied. So that's that's essentially what we need to do. So if you're doing performance capture, where you're capturing the face animation alongside the body animation with motion, motion capture, you most likely won't run into this issue since you are, you are already applying that animation alongside the face animation. But if you're working from a situation where you are capturing the, the face animation after applying um, either a motion capture animation or an existing animation to the body. This is something you may run into and need to be familiar with because you'll want to capture the live link face animation with the body animation data applied. So we have our animation data now. Let's close this. We're gonna go now and open up our sequence again. And I'm going to, I'm actually gonna just, delete our second metahuman here. Let's delete him from the level as well. And let's take a look here now. Let's set my camera back here. Okay, so we're gonna expand our Nassim character here. And right now we have the one of the earlier takes that I did. I'm gonna delete this and I'm going to now re-add the new take that we just did. That was four, so it would have been this one here. And let's go ahead and I'm gonna uncheck show skeleton. And let's go ahead and replace the animation that we have on the body. We're actually gonna just use the same animation that we, we exported for the face. There we go. And now that I play this, you can see it's using the animation that I just created, but the head is no longer floating. Now the head is following alongside the body. Um, if you're if you're not doing performance capture, you'll you'll create your your body animation either using motion capture or with an existing animation. And then once you you have that, I would say I would export that animation from sequencer. So I right click on the body and then bake animation sequence. And then once you have that animation, I would then bring that into the sequence I'm using for take recorder, and then I would start recording for my face. Once I have the face animation recorded, take recorder generates that animation for you, so you don't need to do an export step there. But once you have that, then you can come back to your sequence and then reapply the animation to your body and your face. So hopefully you find that helpful as you try to go beyond that step of experiencing and testing with metahumans and be able to start actually producing something a little more substantial.